Hello everyone, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Paper Mario, the Thousand Year uh, Bloom, the Thousand Year Bloom. In the last episode, we went all the way up to Schwonk Fortress and got ourselves two really good keystones, which are used in order to get to Hooktail Castle. Today, um, excuse me. We're going to be talking to this timid little guy. It's, it's Mario, right? Look, I, um, see, the thing is, I've been waiting here in the hopes of getting to speak with you. I have to ask you something, and you can say no, but I'm going to throw it out there. Okay. Um, see, I was wondering, would did you, oh, please take me with you to fight Hooktail, please, I'm begging you. Sorry about that. See, my dad, he went off to battle Hooktail long ago, but he never came back. Hmm. I miss him, of course. I miss him badly. But this isn't just about avenging my dad. Well, no, that's not true. Revenge is a part of it, I guess. A big part. But the truth is, I want to finish what dad started for his sake. For everyone's sake. I... Man, this is embarrassing. See, everyone always calls me a crybaby, a weakling. But if I can defeat Hooktail, well, I won't be those things. I'll be strong, like my dad. I know it'll be dangerous, but I still want to go. Please, Mario? Sure. For real? No kidding? Yes! Thank you so much! You won't regret this! Koops has joined the party. Do 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 Koops' ability, a primer. Press X to shoot out his shell. Use it to retrieve distant items and hit switches. Okay, so far it seems just like Cooper. Here is where he's interesting. If you hold X, you can hold his shell in one place after shooting it. After holding his shell in place, release X to fire the shell past Mario and attack. You can even hold Koops' shell in place, move Mario, and then release the shell. So remember, hold X to shoot the shell out and hold it in one place. In battle, Koops can fight by your side, striking foes with his main move, the Shell Toss. He can also strike all ground-bound enemies in one attack with his Power Shell. To swap your partners in the field, press Start Pause and go to the Party menu. Ah, Koops is so cute with his little wave. Okay, Mario, let's get going. Koops? Oh, golly, um, hi, hi, Koopy, Koopy Koo. Did you overhear all that? Well, part of it, Koops. I thought I heard you say you're off to fight Hooktail. But you're joking, right? I mean, you're not exactly a powerhouse. He'll eat you up. I know, Koopy Koo, but I want to be tougher. For you. So I have to do this. No, Koops, you don't. I mean, going off to some dangerous place, it's, it's stupid. So what if you're timid and sort of a crybaby? I don't care about all that. I just want to be with you, so don't go. Sorry, Koopy Koo. I've made up my mind. No need to worry, though. After all, I'm traveling with Mario. He's the man. Fine. Ignore me. Stubborn Koopa. I'm sorry, Koopy Koo. I swear to you, I will come back to you a stronger Koopa. Well, Mario, that's that. I guess no turning back. Hooktail's castle awaits. So what's one thing that's super awesome about Koops? Is that I can now hit enemies at a distance using his ability. 
I'm also able to, as I target the Paragoomba, still finish this battle in one turn by using Power Shell. Now obviously I'm showing as kind of uh, a well-practiced version of action commands. So I knew, I know really well how to utilize my partners. We struck first. Now this is also something that's very important. Now that we have Koops, we're actually able to hit these spiked Goombas all really well. Bam! How many star pieces do I have? I have six. Quick change, I think. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh gosh, how many star pieces was the quick change? Let's get ourselves Happy Heart. Which, since we have way more than enough badges, we'll put on. Ooh, sneaky. Okay, sleepy sheep. Bah! 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 Oh good, they're all asleep. For five turns. So we already know that Koops is not going to be any help in this battle. And as soon as they take damage, they do wake up. Here's the next. And there we go. I guess I could take a quick gander. Okay, I did do a quick check. I do need eight star pieces to get the quick change. There's not really an item that I would buy right now from. Is Dazzle the only place I can find it? Okay. Sorry about the, the hold. Okay. So now we're gonna swap over to Koops. Let's put in the Sunstone and the Moonstone. And this little text block tells us that the switches have to be hit at the same time. So just to save us on reading unnecessary text blocks. And it reveals that that stone tower in the middle was actually a warp pipe. Okay. We are about to enter the castle, which actually looks really small from this angle, so let's walk back to Goombella. And let's go in.
Hooktail Castle. So, Hooktail Castle, huh? Well, it sure is ominous, that's for sure. Okay, now that we have that, let's swap back to Coops, because I, I love Goombella's dialogue. And there's a reason why I want to come under here first, before even going anywhere else, and it's for the Heart Plus badge. Now, in my Mario, Paper Mario playthrough, I did heart badges to increase my heart points up until I couldn't upgrade badges anymore. And that's essentially what we're going to do here. Uh, we're going to use health badges and other kinds of badges in order to keep my health up while I am focusing on badge points. We're on our way. And what I want to do is swap back to Goombella because we have some enemies. Particularly... Ugh. I actually thought he got stuck on something first. So let's deal with the Koopa and tattle the paratrooper because we're gonna have to deal with that too. Well, um, it's basically a Koopa Troopa with wings. Max HP is 4, attack is 2, and defense is 1. I kind of hate that this guy gets to fly. Of course, you can stomp on him and he'll plunge down and be a plain Koopa Troopa. Yeah, do that, and he's ours. Stomp him again, and flip him, and his arms and legs are useless. Oops, sorry, that's not true. It looks like he can still wiggle them around a bit. Ugh, I am doing terrible with the timing of my counter. And the happy heart does heal us. That's great. Okay. And there we go. Totally knocked down. Now there are two more enemies that I need to at least tattle first. Are you kidding me? I definitely struck. Okay. Mm. Now that they're on the ground, we're going to increase Mario's defense, just because we're going to need it. Otherwise, I would be at 5 HP. Power Punch! My attack power has been boosted. Okay, perfect. FP. Oh. At least now I can knock all of them over. I'm definitely trying something I've never done before in a playthrough. I've never done just a bad run of Paper Mario's A Thousand Year Door. Which is 
something I can't say about Paper Mario. Paper Mario, I definitely did a badge run before, but because you level up so fast to your max level, oh my gosh. Uh, because you level up to your max level so quickly in Paper Mario, which is level, not even level 30, it's like level 28 or something. Let's get rid of this one carrying the POW block. It's all about strategic jumping and strategy. Perfect. I still haven't even encountered the other enemy I need to fight first. Ba -da 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 I'll take that POW block. And we got Power Bounce. Ooh. I'm gonna take off close call for power bounce. That one. Oh, nope. Okay. Oh, oh no! These bones, they remind me of my father. There's, there's no doubt about it. It's my father. Dad! Um, wait, what's this? Mario, my father's clutching some kind of letter, or at least, uh, his bones are. So, what should I do? Should I read it? It might be his last words. Um, okay, I can do this. I, I'll read it. Ahem. I came to this castle to destroy Hooktail, but I am stuck and can go no farther. So, in this letter, I shall note Hooktail's weaknesses for those who follow. The dread Hooktail cannot tolerate creatures that begin with CR and end with Ikket. Tickets? Hidden somewhere in this castle is an item related to Hooktail's weakness. If one is to have any hope of defeating Hooktail, one must first find that item. One last thing. If faced with ultimate doom, the fiend will use any trick to save itself. If you hope to defeat it, do not give in to your kinder nature and fall for its tricks. Alas, I do not have the strength to continue writing. Already mist fills, mist veils my eyes. My last words go to my son, Colorado. I love you, and I'm proud of who you've become. Huh? My son, Colorado? Not Coops? Oops. Um, yeah, I guess this isn't my father after all. But if this isn't my father, I wonder if that pile of bones over there is my dad. Coops. I'm pretty sure your dad is fine. Blarf, harf, harf, harf. You clearly don't value your lives much if you've come to this castle to disturb us. You will go no further, and from this moment on, you'll be nothing but bones. Oh. What is with... Ow, ow, watch it, pushy. They're shoving me around, Mario. What do we do? Well, we'll just, I believe, actually, oh no, you can't uh, get rid of all of them. It does not matter. You cannot first strike this enemy. Can't flee this fight. Do I have? No, I only have a Pablo. Tattle.
That's a dull bones, sort of a skeleton thing. It was a Koopa Troopa, once. Max HP is one, attack is two, defense is one. These creeps throw bones to attack. Oh, and they build reinforcements too. Attacks that can strike multiple dull bones at once are the most effective. So, boop. Ooh, three damage. That's a red bone. A little too red, I think. No fashion sense, you know. Max HP is five, attack is three, defense is one. Unlike your average dull bones, even if you pound it to zero HP and it crumbles, it totally might revive, like a zombie. My advice is to get rid of all dull bones, then attack the red bones. Oh, and one more thing, once its friends start to fall, it may create some more. Okay. Well, let's do a sweet treat. Okay, I can now just go full on back mash. There's no more poisons. Perfect. Oh. A uh, swap to coops. And then let's do a power jump. There. There we go. Another 22 star points. Excellent. Also, that should be the last enemy we have to tattle in Hooktail Castle. Power shell. Perfect. I definitely need to manage my star points better. Uh, or do better at striking first. Perfect. Okay, now hammer. And shell toss. Ooh, that almost failed. Much better. Gosh, my puppies who are still snuggled up with me are such sleepy boys. I love my dogs. Okay. So first, drop the purple. Then I need to climb the purple. And then let's... Uh, we'll do the, the thing after. Do I have to spin this around? It's the perception. That's what it, I find super cool about this uh, game. It's not that everything is made out of paper. But the angle that the game goes to and then turns 3D objects into a 2D graphic is so cool. Okay. So now I want to activate that. And release. No, I don't think I can get that star piece, actually. Oh. 
So drop that, drop, drop that, and then with coops, we'll spin, and then up. This gets us a star piece. Yes. Okay. Okay. So we want to go through the door. First strike. Let's take them on like this for now. Ha ha! Bingo! And that will fill up the rest of my audience. You jerk. You did that on purpose. Good job, Coops. Don't worry, I caught, I kept them both down. Oop, a little too soon. And with this, we will defeat more enemies. We're definitely gonna get another level up here. Oh, again, too soon. We're definitely getting a level up before getting to the top where Hooktail is, which is really good. We'll get all of those. Make sure I strike first with my more powerful shell move. Ooh, that Goomba has an ability. Let's make sure he doesn't get the chance to use it. Because of... Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to get the... Self-Defense Badge from the pit. Okay. So we're still in the dungeons. Gonna activate coops to trigger this. Perfect. What the heck? Hey, guests! It's been a long time since anyone came here. A real long time. Huh? You heard me. Wow! Wait a sec. If you can hear my voice, you must be some legendary hero or something. Or not. To be honest, I'm sure anyone with ears can hear me. But it sure is fun zinging people with that whole legendary hero bit. Hey, but seriously, folks. I was wondering if you could let me out of this chest. I've been locked in here so long, I'm starting to cramp. I'm starting to cramp up like you wouldn't believe. All you have to do is find the key and let me out. Easy. Huh? What do you mean? You think you'll be cursed if you open the box? Ridiculous. Who would do that? Really? Wait. Wait in a box and curse, folks. A real slime ball, that too. But I'm not a real slime ball, and I would do no such thing. But that should be obvious. Look, if you help me out, maybe I'll help you out. You know, a little I scratch your back, you scratch mine. Except in reverse. Of course, you don't have to, if you really don't want to. Like, finding a black key is hard. Don't worry, Mr. Mysterious Talking Treasure Chest. We'll find your key. In fact, it's right here. You got a black key, a strange black key, but what could it be for? Oh. Um, M Mario, look at that! The roof is falling! I don't like the look of this. Come on, run! 
It's very easy to navigate the spiked maze. It does not give you enough time to go through every twist and turn. But it does give you more than enough time to get out of the, the room. Man, that was too close. Gotta shake it off. Whew. Okay, we got the key. So let's open that spooky chest. Hey there, boy. Am I glad you found that key. Unbelievable. Wee! Fools! Oh, he did it. Rude! Why, only the most idiotic pudding brain dolt would fall for a scheme like that. The castle's traps prevent anyone from enter. The castle's traps prevent anyone who's entered this place from ever leaving it. No matter which path you take, you're fated to waste away to a slow, painful end. But wait, there's more to this great deal. I'll throw in a free curse, no charge. Oogly boogly boo! Wee! <laughs> now you're cursed, doofus. It serves you right. This curse is more cursedly curseworthy than any curse that's ever cursed you. For this curse makes it makes you like a piece of paper when you present hold R. We <laughs> what a curse! Who curses like me? No one. Now I shall show you just how frightful this curse is. Go on, present hold R. Present hold R now. Wee! Just look at yourself. How embarrassing for you. Eat a sandwich, skinny. He. Do you understand what this curse means for you? Yes. Then farewell, you dumbbells. Wee! Okay, so this curse actually is what's going to let us slip right on through. And we get the sound effects R. Uh, sorry, the attack effects R. This badge is a zero badge point ability. And that attack is supposed to sound like crickets. With this, guys, we are going to call it an episode. Because we've actually done so much. We got coops. We made it here to Hooktail Castle. And now we're going to be making our way up the castle to face off with Hooktail. I hope you guys are excited for that because I sure am. If you guys like this episode, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Mash the like button and subscribe if you have not for more Paper Mario content. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Derez plays?